like a contestant, but if you guys want to talk about it. Yeah. Hey, well, what would your advice be? You, you had an insane <laughs> successful career, so what would your advice be to Kree now that she got runner up? How did you turn it uh, into such a powerful career? You know, I think when it gets down to the final few, I mean, you showed what you can do to the audience to millions of people every week. I think it's a platform. Um, I personally don't think first, second, third is actually what it's about. I think it's about launching your career. And everybody knows who Kree is now, so here she goes. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, she's so good. I would love to work with her more in the future. I mean, I, I was I was so excited when I found out that we were going to do a duet together. And um, Titanium was actually her idea. And I, I love the song. I remember when the song first came out, I was on Twitter like, check out Titanium. I, I love Sia as well. So we got together and we decided to break it down and soften it up and make it about the lyric and the melody primarily. And we had so much fun doing a, a harmony on it and letting our voices blend together. She's so talented. Yeah, so thank you. We had fun. Yeah? Hi! How's it going? How excited were you to sing, meet or be with her on stage with Jesse J? I know you're like a huge fan of it. Yeah, I love Jesse J too. And I, I met her once in passing and it was nice to see her again. Uh, the circumstances were a little calmer today during rehearsal, so we got to visit a little bit. It was nice. Did you ever shave your head like this? Um, I don't think I can pull off the super short hair. I don't have her cheekbones, but uh, you know, I love her. I think she looks really fierce right now. Yeah. Will we get the chance next year to see you as a judge on the show? I don't. You tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I had that information. I don't know. Would you consider that? Dude, if they called me, I'd be like, yeah. Sign me. Where do I sign? You know, it would be very cool. It would be exciting. I think um, it'd be a really cool opportunity to help people coming into the show and help them keep their vision focused. Because it, it, it does become very overwhelming uh, when you get in there and there's so many people telling you what you, they think you should do and your family and the judges and the producers and all the other contestants that might be screwing with your head. And um, so I think it would be nice as a judge to be able to help people stay focused. It gets crazy, you know, and to help them reach their dreams. That would be such a reward. Yeah. What are you working on right now? Anything you can share? I'm working on music. Yeah, I'm back in the studio, um, feeling it out, seeing what works, seeing what you know, flips in the lid. Um, <laughs> I, I've been doing a lot of traveling this year. I went to uh, overseas and um, both seas, <laughs> and uh, I sang with Queen this year. So I had a lot to inspire me. Um, met a lot of new fans in different countries. I feel like there's a lot of ideas. So get into the studio and put them down. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely like a boot camp. I mean, you get up there every week and they, they work you to the bone. You have a lot to do and um, all sorts of things that train you. You're in the studio. That's like, that was training for me. Really working fast and getting your ideas out. Um, doing all the on-camera stuff with commercials and all the interviews and that stuff that I hadn't really done before. So that is a skill within itself. And then of course being on stage in front of a big audience, millions of people behind the cameras, Getting used to their nerves and how to conquer those, that's a thats a trip. Um, so yeah, it, it sets you up for a lot. It prepares you. And I think it does a really good job. Yeah, thank you. Anybody else? Yeah. What was the whole Queen experience? Queen was awesome. I had so much fun. Um, I, was, I couldn't believe they asked me, first of all. I was like, me? You want me to do it? Really? Um, and I was really flattered and terrified because I thought there's no one else but Freddie Mercury. No one else can compare. Um, and I thought, oh God, everybody's gonna hate me because I'm trying to be doing what Freddie did. And when I went in first rehearsed with Roger and Brian, um, they immediately made me feel really comfortable and they reassured me and, and because of them, I felt like, you know what, I can do this and I'm gonna to try to honor his memory and, and the legacy that, that he left behind as a lead singer and as the most amazing vocalist in the world. And I had a blast. It was really fun. So how many you got? I don't know, it might. I mean, we're definitely still in touch. We had a great time and we've left it very open-ended. Um, I email with Brian and Roger and, and say hello and happy birthday, Merry Christmas, and um, reminisce about our amazing summer last summer, the shows that we did in Europe. And yeah, I mean, something could happen in the future. Definitely.
Hi. Is there any collaborators you can talk about for the new album? I can't even talk about the new album. All I can talk about is that I'm recording. That's all I can say. I learned my lesson last time. I'm keeping it all under wraps. Yeah. What? Claude Kelly's a Oh, I love Claude Kelly. He's awesome. <laughs> Maybe. I don't have anything planned. Um, you know, I have a lot of friends that work on Broadway. I love that community so much. Um, it's definitely where I came up, and it was early family for me. And so, um, you know, I, I'm going back to New York in a couple weeks. I'm going to catch some shows that friends are in. Um, and I don't know, you know, if the right thing came along at the right time, and it was a project that made sense, yeah, maybe. An ideal role? I don't know. Something edgy, something kind of weird and out there. Why not? <laughs> Yeah. Anything else? All right. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Bye.